Right then, new job today. We're at Stourport, sun, very sunny and dry at the moment, Stourport. Uh, I'll speak to Digger Driver in a minute, see if he wants to be on camera or not. <laughs> so we'll confirm in a minute. Well, he's laughing, so that, that's a good sign. We've got to put the dirt in this area here and we've got to track through that gap there through the neighbour's garden, which has all been agreed by them, put some boards down, get the uh, digger through, through the gap in the fence, which I'll show you in a minute, and round to the back garden. And we've got to then bury it all through and dump it here. So yeah, let's have a look at the job then. So I'll get a bit closer in a minute, but basically what we're doing is, it's a flat roof, single story extension. It's going, you can't see, but I'll show you in a minute when I get closer. Just the behind Mick there, there's a bit of a step in the brickwork just where I'm pointing. Let me just pull in a little bit. So we're going to pull a, a line with a bucket through here, out to three metres, or three metres for our brickwork that is. Then we're coming across pretty much four metres. We're coming a brick's width, or a brick just inside this window. No roof lantern in this one. Flat roof, uh, warm deck roof. So that might be interesting for some of you to watch. Um, and, and that's pretty much it. That's the start of our dig then. There's the existing footing there, not very deep at all. And there's the this extension footing, which I've sort of come round in a sweep. But that's only about 300 mil deep, that is, if that, that footing, the depth of concrete that is. So we're gonna come um, a metre down from ground level. And then we're gonna have to uh, speak to the inspector, see what he wants to do with regards that link into this. So we'll clean that off for him. Uh, but we've come to the end of the foot in there now anyway, if I jump in the hole. But that's the end of the foot in there now, that corner. And we are coming out, and we're coming out another another metre or so to the edge of that slab lot. So pretty much the edge of the grass really is our three metres, or three 150, sorry, to edge of footing, which is, gives us our three metres. So there we are. So uh, I'm going to stop talking now, shout out to this lovely dog, and uh, let the digger get on with it. So an update really. I was going to put a time lapse on, but... Jesus, how much do you want to watch of, of a digger? Really, I mean, some of you might like it, but I think you might be a bit bored of it. So, uh, all we've done now is we've calculated our floor level. We've come down there, insulation, um, screed, concrete thickness, sand blinding, um, even down to the 0.2 millimetres of DPM. Calculated it all and dropped it down, so this is the level now. So on top of there now will be um, hardcore, sand blinding, DPM, insulation, concrete, and then the customer's then going to finish the screed off. So we'll end up about 50 or 60 mil below that sill level when we finish with our concrete slab. So there we are. This is all dug down to our meter now. Lovely to dig, nice and pleasant. It's all, it looks like hardcore, mixing with a bit of dirt. That's how good it is here. Um, it's coming up quite nice. We've got quite the pile of uh, dirt now ready for the grab tomorrow, but we'll just keep moving and uh, there we go, and like I say, we are only coming back to there anyway, over there. So we'll just come across and finish that off. All my thoughts are running, running around inside my head. Emotions keep coming, they're keeping me from thinking straight. Thought it would be different when I got my things in place. Stuck in this commotion, how come I pass this yet? I wanna me to be somebody else, another me that doesn't need your help. But if I'm honest, I don't think we got it. I try to change the things you never like, try to make this better, make this right. But we're the same, even though I changed. Really made an effort, promised I would change, but something stayed the same. Wanted to do better, wanted to be great, but something stayed the same. Something stayed the same. Something stayed the same. Start a life in the country. I'll be 
say yes to that Whatever way you want me I'll learn it all and I'll adapt Even if I changed up Everything except my name We will still be fighting Quite the pile going on now Through next door neighbour's garden Through their gate That's the pile we got And we've got we, we might even have two grabs worth there We're hoping not but we might have. What's your bettings? Let me know in the comments below what you thought it was, whether it was uh, one or two grabs. I'll do another shot once we've finished, because we're not finished completely yet. But give us your thoughts. Two parking spaces, just to give you a bit of a clue. Length of a car, two parking spaces. There we go. So we're back, next day. We haven't got loads to do today, but we had a good day of it yesterday. So I'll uh, spin you around now, show you where we are, and uh, and that's really it. We are just digging a hole to put concrete back in. So let's have a look then. This just needs a bit of a clean off. That will scrape that to make sure it's such footings clean. Um, we've gone all the way to the wall there because of over the footing, but we've just come back to our 600 again there when the footing stops. Again, I've already mentioned that. And we've um, exposed the footing there again. Not a deep footing at all, a couple of hundred mil max. So all we've got to take out this morning is just this. We've already um, been and shifted all of the slabs up here. They are all on top of the pile now. Ready for the grab hire, which is in a couple of hours time. So we'll try and get this out and uh, that's it. Hopefully the sunshine stays with us and we don't get wet. Right, so the grab lorry's turned up about three hours early. We've got that left to do. I reckon we've got about five, about five or six barrows left, Mick, uh, towing out to that. I reckon it, yeah, about six, eight bad or something like that. Yeah, so, so yeah. So we got, uh, spoke to the grab iron bloke and he said he doesn't know whether this is a full load or what. He said until he, he does, but hopefully, hopefully, we are. Hopefully we can get it all on. Let's have a look. And there we have it. There was the big pile of muck that we shifted. All gone, one load, it's wonderful. We are working the stairport area, but if you've uh, need anyone, any grabs or anything, speak to these fellas and I'll come and uh, shift you up for you, so to speak. There we are, all done. Right, another day at the stairport job, so where all the dirt was, is now uh, a courser instead. You would have seen that all the, the mess is no longer. I know it's been a couple of weeks, but with a bit of rain, there's no dirt there left, and there's no, doesn't look like anywhere where we've been, does it? So what we're gonna do now, we've done, as we did before, we've opened the gate up, we put all the plywood down in preparation for the uh, concrete and the pump coming, which will park where the courser is. We'll just move that out of the way. So um, we are, rear, rear are. All we've got to do now, we've got to break off some concrete um, following the inspection where he doesn't want to have too much concrete showing from next door's footing because he thinks what it'll do is it'll anything we put on top of it will flip the extension up in the air 360 degrees like something off a film <laughs> sorry everyone's laughing um i'll show you what he wants us to do and uh, what we have to do to comply with the inspector let's have a look lovely clean footings you can't really get them any better there's no there's no collapse of it we haven't walked into it finding it all in the trench which is lovely uh other than a bit of a tamp down with the rake because this was about 100 mil low anyway so i've just tamped that corner down with the rake and put it, all the anything that was loose here a couple of bibbles i've just knocked them into there so what we've got to do is you can see the red line over there what we've got is that concrete is about 350 mil wide now we all know that Normally, you would build your footing, you'd have 150 mil outside your, your brickwork there, because that's your 600 mil footing, isn't it? 150 mil either side, 300 mil of, uh, of your brick cavity and block. Fair enough. Whoever did this extension, this is all um, existing. This isn't an extension, sorry. That's the, I think it, it is. Because oh, it, it is an extension, footing, do we think? Oh, of course, yeah. yeah. So what we think is when they've done the footing, they've obviously come all the way over uh, and they've built way under next door's fence. In this instance so what the inspector wants us to do is he wants us to cut that that red line denotes 150 left 
cut all this off then, remove all of that. Because what you're saying is, is, is if we put any concrete in there, uh, even though we are 400 mil below that, maybe, 450. It'll be about three courses over the top of that one as well. Uh, yeah, and then, yeah. Three, and then over the top of that, we're only going to be 150 mil over the top of that slab, because this is our finish line here, because we are three courses down. So we are going to be about... Where are we, going to be? we are literally going to be about level with the dirt there. Yeah. So we probably a couple of courses above that slab. But what he's saying is, is that when we load that with concrete, our, our concrete slab, or concrete footing, sorry, can potentially tilt that over and cause issues in there. The laser level started there, as you can probably hear. Beautiful on that course. We've also, that's easy to obviously count down from the damp to get that one. What we're going to do now is put some, uh, some more marks on the side of the trench and I'm going to end up with a red rake. Yeah, I mean, this obviously, is, this it's, is just it's, for the, it's crudish. Uh, this is for pouring the concrete in, that's all. This is just reference so we know yeah. we're, we're sort of where we think we should be. Once we get close to these red lines, we'll we'll dip it with the rake and leaving this sensor on the rake, and that will be beautiful. See, we couldn't really come up another course. If you look where we are now, another course that it's going to spill, it'll spill over onto the pad. Not too bad. Right then, so we are ready for concrete now. Yeah, which is all beautifully laid out, already oh, good yeah, to go. As we pointed out before, the joy of having no, uh, no reasonable access. We've had to plead with the neighbours, not really, they're lovely. Um, get a bit of board down, happy days, and that's that. So all you can see Mick doing there now is just, um, we put it in one central point, which is quite simple on this one. We're nearly at our lines now, as you can sort of see. And Mick's just pulling it round to our lines over there, which makes it a bit easier. And then when the guys are happy that um, we're up to our, a rough point here, he'll pull the tube round or the pipe round and start emptying the pipe into this part. So, um, so that's what he'll do. Coming to the end of it now, what he does now is he gauges how much he thinks he's got left. What he does, he puts a foam ball through there, which then clears all the concrete. It blows it out at force, so you have to stand back. Uh, and it blows all the concrete out and cleans the, the pipes, basically. That's what it does. So you won't be able to hear it because it's all the way out there. But um, that's what he's doing now. He's just finishing off. He's just finishing off out there, look. Putting the last bit through. And that's it. It'll pump. The concrete wagon's all finished now, pumping into the pump that we've got set up. He'll then pump the last bit through, through the tube, with some water, and then put the ball in. And that's what'll come out now, if it hasn't already come out. Uh, it's come out yeah. Here we go. Let me get covered if I stand here, but I'm trying to get a good shot for you. 
<laughs> there we are. So that comes out under pressure. And that's what uh, cleans the pipes out. So there we are. And if you look at that and our lines, when we pull that through now, you'd think it'd been doing it for a few years, wouldn't you? The uh, bloke that works on the pump with us. Um, that is exact. Uh, brilliant. Absolutely bang on. Okay, that's it. There we go then. So we'll stand back, let the guys get on because they've got another two jobs to get to now. They've got to go from here, Stourport, to Solihull. So we'll let them crack on. So the guys are all done, and as you can see, they don't leave any mess. They spray everything, everything's washed down. All their gear, obviously, ready for the next job. And it's all washed. There's not anything left on the ground. No concrete, no neighbours to upset. Brilliant. Right, so... These guys are based in Wolverhampton. However, they do about 35 um, mile radius. But these guys, we, we can't knock them. They're absolutely superb what they do. Uh, and it, like I say, it's always left as, it, as they turned up, tidy. And the job's done. And they're really friendly, friendly chaps as well. They just turn up, get on with it. Don't expect you to lump all their gear. They do all their own moving and shifting. Brilliant. Right then, thank you fellas. So I didn't film us tamping it. We've got a, behind, behind that board there, we've got like a, um, a two inch or inch and a half bar, proper tamper for this. Cause the rain come down that hard. I, I thought, you know what, put my camera away. So, um, and of course now we've stopped, it's stopped raining. So as you can see, you can see all of our red marks there, look. I know they're not to the exact millimeter, but when I've gone round with the, um, the old bleeper, on the level, we're within, we're well within sorting that out within a course of bricks, within the bed on the bottom, off the slab, off the footing, and the next bed, we can put, we, that's how close we are. Because you can see over there, you can see the red line there, you can see the red line of brickwork over there. I know that my line was where that dip is in the dirt there, look. So I'm perfectly happy with that. You can see the red line there, the red line there. So we're happy, happy that's flat. And, uh, this time tomorrow that'll be lovely and dry so uh so there we are then so we'll leave that episode there now then so footing's all done ready this is the first episode of a new series of extension in stairport hope you've enjoyed it don't forget to that, hit that like button for us because it's it's nice to know that people are enjoying what we're doing and spending the time to do um and we will see you on the next episode